The step-by-step ghostly evidence is mounting in favor of life beyond the physical. And why is that so spooky, when much that lives in this world is unseen or intangible to us, from viruses, to quarks, atoms and molecules, time, space, energy, and love. Einstein once wrote that quantum physics tells us that life is not made up of matter, but of vibrations that escape space and time. He goes on to say that for those who believe in physics, the distinction between the past, present and future are only stubbornly persistent illusions. So I ask you, what illusions or beliefs do we have about life and death and why do we believe what we believe? Judaism, Islam and Christianity repeatedly say, the soul is immortal. Reincarnation is the belief held by Buddhists, Hindu and Sikh religions. But, do life after death beliefs only rise out of scripture? No, not all people that believe in life after death are religious. Beliefs often include attitudes, stereotypes and justifications of why we believe. And then understanding that beliefs can limit perception and therefore our experience or our ability to accept new and updated information. Beliefs can be sticky. And sometimes it takes a life-altering experience like a near-death experience or NDE to set our mind free. Dr. Samparna, resuscitation research has been a leader in this respect. Because they discovered that when the brain is dead or damaged beyond repair, these same people that experience an NDE have lucid cognitive function and memory beyond the capability of their brain. And this is where the idea that consciousness exists outside of the brain begins. Jeffrey Long MD clarifies NDE, about 5% of everyone on earth have experienced an NDE. And about 17% of those who were pronounced clinically dead and then resuscitated, regardless of age, religion or beliefs, have cognitive recall of their experience and share some or all similar elements. These recurring elements are, no physical body and yet they can see, hear and recall physical events, passage through a tunnel, a review of their life through the intangibles of humanity, passion, purpose, kindness, love, integrity, bright light immersion, positive emotions, meeting dead people and lastly, an option to return to their body. There are stringent criteria for NDEs, and much data has been collected during cardiac arrest and resuscitation, meaning the heart ceases beating, respiration halts and brain activity is absent. And yet the evidence of lengthy lucid memory of the event, can be recalled in detail. And Dr. Janice Holden's study found a 92% accuracy in their recollection. More than 45% of patients experience being out of their body, often observing from above with 74% reported feeling more conscious and alert than normal. Interesting, this was my experience as I began to drown in a capsized plane. And that experience changed my beliefs in life after death, forever. Looking back thousands of years, philosophers and scientists believed, Aristotle, that the dead are more blessed and happier than the living, to die is to return to one's true home. Socrates called death freedom, an escape from the body, Plato also confirmed his beliefs, both prenatal and the soul's journey in life after death. Leaping forward to modern times and Stanford, there is compelling empirical evidence for a belief in the afterlife. But there is still more. Respected scientist Robert Lanza, called a genius, a renegade thinker and often likened to Einstein, claims that quantum theory has proved the existence of life after death, that energy is immortal, and therefore, so is life. His theory of biocentrism shifts our thinking away from a century of asking for answers through physics, instead turning our focus to quantum biology. Biocentrism asks us to dual our long-held beliefs about the illusions of life, death, time and space. Some say biocentrism is the biggest turn the world on its head theory since the idea that the earth was flat was debunked. To me, there appears to be volumes of evidence to support an evolution of spirit. And Einstein also encourages us too, look for what is, not for what he thinks should be. So, I wonder if it is time for another kind of evolution in our way of living and dying. How would it change the way we are living our life today, with the knowledge that there is life beyond this life and this physical body? If you haven't read Michael Newton's, Journey of Souls yet, I recommend you do. I found it grief relieving and beyond fascinating. Michael Newton PhD, specialized in hypnotherapy, and accidentally fell into the lives between lives in past life regression client therapy sessions. His book details many of thousands of patients recall of their spirit life between lives. I listened to this audiobook several times as I navigated my own grief recovery and I found it impossible not to believe. Through my life experience, I believe that I am a conscious soul with a body and mind. 
that there is something beyond what we see at first glance. And so I live my life based on the knowledge there is life after death, just as much as my reality that the sky is blue and the twinkle in my eye. I would love to know your thoughts, heart. Stay well out there. XOXO Adele